today is a breakthrough Sunday we're believing today for breakthrough we're believing today for God to step in into your situation and to bring that breakthrough there are people here today who have problem with documents people who have problem with scholarships or stu student issues or with jobs some of you have a hard time finding a place to live you just moved into town and we're gonna believe today for supernatural breakthrough that God will break out in your situation and show himself mighty show himself strong if I can have Terry just for a second Terry had a situation Terry was born in Canada and he wasn't able to receive his social security um, here in the United States for some time and I wanted to just in a few minutes just to mention of what God did so Terry please so I was trying to get my social security card replaced for 30 years 30 years um, I had some wonderful prayer from Vlad and you guys and I got it how long how long it took you how long after there is for prayer for breakthrough how long did that answer came probably two three weeks so 30 years when God gets involved two three weeks come on somebody hold on one second one second, one second. amen Thanos is not the only one who can fix things with the snap of his fingers <laughs> when my God <laughs> goes like this changes can happen can somebody say amen he can undo everything the devil has done if you believe say amen he can fix what the doctor says cannot be fixed he can bring the documents when you are not supposed to get those documents he can open the way where there is no way my bible says with god nothing 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 is impossible do you believe in that the bible says in genesis chapter 1 the bible says that in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth but then it says that but the earth was without form the earth was void and the darkness hovered over the planet but the spirit of god was hovering over this place i want to tell you something right now invite the holy spirit into your problem invite him into your business make holy spirit a partner with you in your career invite the holy spirit in your studies invite the holy spirit in that side hustle that you have invite the holy spirit maybe you're single ready to mingle and you can't find somebody to mingle with invite the holy spirit to that situation watch what god will do in jesus name i want you to close your eyes and, and stretch your hands like this begin to invite the holy spirit into your situation we're going to pray in a moment for businesses. We're going to pray in a moment for jobs. We're going to pray for people who have problems with houses. Maybe things that are tied up, inheritance or documents or certain things. But before that, I ask you that you invite the Holy Spirit into your job, into your school, young man, young woman, into your relationship. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. You fix the earth. Fix my life. Fix my papers. Come on, begin to lift your voice. Don't wait for the song. Begin to lift your voice and say, Holy Spirit, I invite you. Holy Spirit, I invite you. You're the best doctor, the best financial consultant. You're the best marriage advisor. Holy Spirit, I invite you. Be my broker. Be my connection. Holy Spirit, I need you. The atmosphere is changing in this room right now because the Holy Spirit is coming. He is coming. You're not going to do life alone. You're not going to go to school alone. Oh 
humble yourself before Him. Say, Holy Spirit, I need your help. Holy Spirit, my marriage cannot make it without you. My business cannot make it without you. I need your help in my life. I humble myself. We're crying for heaven to go. Holy Spirit I welcome you into my situation come do your miracle I believe nothing is impossible with God you are God you created this earth I trust in you I give you my problems all my financial challenges and I'm waiting for a miracle. Come on right now, take next few seconds. Begin to talk to the Holy Spirit right now. Come on, every eye closed. Begin to talk to the Holy Spirit. Begin to say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come on, F fill this room with Holy prayer Spirit, right now. We need more of you. Holy Spirit, shine your light into our lives, into our minds. That we stand and we believe in their promise. That's all we need is you. Holy Spirit, we ask you to empower us to stand upon the God's word, to believe that you're able, the work that you started, that you're going to finish. The work that you begin in our life, you complete it to the end. That you're not going to abandon us, you're not going to forsake us. You're going to open those closed doors. Holy Spirit, that you can empower, to do better than our best, to do what only you can do in our lives. Holy Spirit, we yield more of our lives. We yield more of our strength. We yield all of our mind, our strength. Everything that we have within us, we yield it to you and you ask you that you do as you will you are the author of our lives you are the architect that you're going to do what you call us to do in Jesus name Holy Spirit we welcome you Holy Spirit we know that miracles are in your hands we know that you hold the key that changes everything in our life and we we stand we on our knees right now say Holy Spirit we abandon ourselves to you we love you and we invite your miracle power into our life in Jesus name I want you to stand gets on his knees will stand on his feet somebody say amen and right now we have come to a time where the Bible says the Spirit of God hovered over the earth and God said let there be light it's a similar approach as when Moses said to Pharaoh let my people go that tells me the mess and the chaos that was happening on this earth the fact that God said let there be meaning somebody wasn't letting it be somebody was holding things hostage that somebody is darkness that somebody is forces Bible tells, tells us there's two kingdoms that exist in this room right now in this world and God before there was light before there was life God spoke to the darkness and said let there be light meaning you gotta go I'm pushing you back things are gonna change right now I want to speak that over us today as a church and individuals before you can see life you have to see light before you can see light you gotta push back the darkness you gotta recognize there are forces contrary to salvation redemption hope and healing these forces Bible calls us we have an enemy who came to steal kill and destroy these forces are forces of darkness but the best part about it it's not that these forces are real it's the fact the word of God in your mouth is as powerful as the word of God in God's mouth the best part about it is the forces of darkness are not going to leave because they're tired of hurting people and they're only going to leave when somebody is going to say enough is enough and push them out the best part about it it's you and I are that somebody. I had a person 
tried to correct me on Instagram because I said that you should slap the devil and they said well an archangel wouldn't even dare to bring an accusation against the devil in the Bible it says he said the Lord rebuke you because the Bible says you should you should tread your waters carefully with the devil I said that's what archangel did I don't follow archangels I get my commandments from my Savior and my Savior says I give you authority to trample trample not negotiate trample on the devil that's why I have the power to say slap him sometimes trample on the snake you may say but who who do you think you are if an archangel couldn't rebuke the devil and trap I don't know who I am but he called me his he called me righteous he called me his son he called me his child he said I'm worth dying for his spirit lives inside of you so I will trample on the darkness I will push back the darkness no we shouldn't slap the devil we should trample him that's what Jesus said my standard is not archangels God bless their soul my standard is the commander-in-chief the finisher of my faith my Savior Jesus Christ and therefore I'm gonna push back the darkness I'm gonna push back every demon that holds limit brings limitation and stagnation and therefore knowing that God's Spirit lives inside of me I will say to my situation let there be light I will say to my stagnation, let there be light, let there be light. You may say, but you're getting on the devil's nerves. Yes, it's time to do that. Somebody give God some praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you right now together with me, together. If you notice something is holding your success back, something is holding your breakthrough back right now it's time to create a position and to push that back and say let there be light in Jesus name let there be light in Jesus name amen I want you to say this declaration with me every trace of darkness hiding behind my stagnation every agent of darkness holding my breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus I come against you and I command you let there be light let there be light I push you back I push back your kingdom in Jesus name Come on, open up your lips right now. Begin to push back the darkness. Begin to push back stagnation. Begin to push back every agent of darkness that is behind limitation. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, by the authority of Jesus, Satan, I push you back. Out of my house, out of my body, out of my health, out of my education right now. Every trace of darkness, go. Go, 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 go. Out of this church out of the people, out of our families, out of our businesses right now by the authority of Jesus we push you back you may not control us you may not destroy us Satan you are defeated get out of my house get out of my children get out of my marriage get out of my life get out of this city we push you back go in the name of Jesus we break your kingdom we destroy you we slap you we trample on you of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray we're gonna continue to pray right now for the light of God to speak in that situation as Pastor Vlad said when Moses came to the people of Egyptians his people his family his work and his situation was being held hostage by the enemy and he declared the light of God and he said by the name of the God the name is above every other name I command you, you hostage taker, let my people go. Let my people go. Let my family go. Let my parents go. Let my children go. Let my business go. Let my future go. Let my destiny go. Let my breakthrough go. Let my career go. In the name of 
Jesus. Right now we're going to say it in the name of Jesus. Let my situation go. Say it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name is above every other name. The name at which every knee must bow. I command you, devil. Let my people go. Let my career go. Let my future go. Let my breakthrough go. Begin to command it right now. Begin to command the light of God. And speak to the enemy. Moses came before him and said, I don't fear you. I know who I serve. Let my people go. Begin to command it right now. And speak against the enemy. That hostage taker. You must let my situation go. In the name of Jesus. Let it go, devil. Let it go, devil. Let it go, devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, let there be light. Anywhere where there is darkness. In my business. In my finances. In my relationships. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be life. Let there be breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Right now we're going to pray for miracles. We're going to pray for not only God spoke, let there be light. But after that, life, life started to happen. So after the light, things started to grow. Things started to, trees started to grow. The, the birds showed up. The living creatures, life came after light came. When you get the light of God here, positive faith, positive confession, an attitude of gratitude, a conquering spirit, you will see how miracles will start happening there. So right now we're going to begin to pray. We're going to invite God's creative miracles in the area of our finances, in the area of our school, in the area of things that have to do with documents, things that have to do with contracts, things that have to do with your clients or with your employers, things that maybe right now are held back. You may be facing tension or facing trouble or maybe you got laid off or maybe you're looking for unemployment. Right now we're going to invite God's life to begin to grow, miracles to begin to take place for His glory and for the benefit of the kingdom of God. Amen. I want you to begin to pray that right now. So Lord, I invite your miracles in my business. I invite your miracles in my studies. Lord, I invite your miracles in my job. I invite your miracles in the things that are held up in courts right now. I invite your miracles in my real estate, God. I invite your miracles in my housing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, open up your lips. Begin to pray Christ. for miracles. Father, we begin to invite your creative miracle, Lord, in every area that has to do with us, Lord. We invite your creative miracle, Lord, in that area of documents, Lord, maybe in the court cases, maybe, Father, with, with uh, Father, immigration, whatever it may be right now, Father, we declare your creative miracle. Lord, we declare creative miracle and death being paid off. It's scholarships, Father, being granted. Lord, we declare, Father, miraculous contracts be granted to us in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, for our open door, Lord, that have been closed for years to be opened in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, create a miracle of founding his a spouse, Lord, and finding that partner for life in Jesus' name, Lord. We declare, Lord, that you're going to open up a way where people see that miracle and say there's no way for it to happen, but God did it. Lord, we believe and we stand upon your promises that you make a way where there's no way, where there's a dead end, Lord, that you just say, Lord, is just the beginning. Lord, we believe and we stand and we pray with you. You create a miracle in every area of our life, Lord. Everything that hand touches will be blessed. Everywhere our footsteps, we're going to conquer that land in Jesus' name. Lord, we just pray right now. We touch those documents. Come on, stretch your hands and let's agree. Lord, we touch those documents. We touch those applications right now. We touch those things that have been submitted, but we have not heard anything back. Lord, we touch them with you, God. We declare and decree, God, let miracles happen. We pray for those right now, God, who maybe are looking for a housing. We pray, let miracles happen. Lord, we are standing on a miracle ground. We got this building, God, by a miracle. We pray, let them get 
their house by a miracle. We pray God for your glory. We pray God for your glory. I pray for those who have tight situation because of their debt. We pray for miracle debt consolation, Lord. We pray that you will give them a wind to blow in their back, Lord God. Things that are unexplainable. Things that are unexpectable, God. Things that do not happen to people. We pray, let it happen. Let it happen. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray for those who are expecting a phone call. For those who maybe lost the connection. For those who lost something that's valuable. We pray, let it be returned this week. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And Lord, we position ourselves. Say, I'm a believer in Almighty God. And right now, I position myself. I trust in God. I believe in miracles. And I expect that something good is going to happen this week in Jesus' name. In Jesus name and if you believe it give God a round of applause right now if you believe the prayer you pray is gonna bring an answer from the Lord if you believe it some of you you're not clapping I'm gonna get you a miracle come on come on somebody give God a shout of praise shout breakthrough shout breakthrough shout breakthrough shout breakthrough Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When you go this week, I want you to go with expectation. I want you to walk with your head up and your shoulders squared. I want you to know that there is no darkness inside of you, but there is only light of God. I want you to know that there is where there is light, there will be life. You will see life in your business. You will see life with your customers. You will see life in your career. You will see life in your school. And topics you could not figure it out and you couldn't get it. God is going to give you life in that area. The applications where you submit it, you will see good response in Jesus' name. You may say, Vlad, you know, you're just, you're just throwing words out. If these are just words, let them be just words. But for some people in this room, these are seeds. It's going into their heart. It's going into their, their soil. And there's a pastor who has an authority. I don't want to speak over you that you're a failure and a loser and you're going to fail this week. I want to bless, not to curse our church. One, 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 one um, a per person from our church came and uh, they said something that really encouraged me. He said, a few weeks ago, you said that I'm losing weight. And he says, in fact, at that time when you said that, I was actually most overweight and I, I was so aware of it. And when you said that, he says, something snapped in me. He says, ever since then, I just started to lose weight. And he says, thank you for declaring that. I was like, now you declared that over me too. <laughs> I want to I wanna use my words not to describe your situation, but to alter it. And so if you're used to just pastors describing you and say you're worst you're horrible you're a bad sinner honestly it doesn't take any faith to say that I want to use my words the way God did he looked at darkness he didn't say oh poor darkness he says let there be light and therefore I declare breakthrough into your life in Jesus name I declare God's favor I declare God's kindness I declare goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. You will dwell in the house of God. I declare you will eat in the presence of your enemies. And though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. For the staff and God's rod, they will comfort you. He will lead you to the still waters. He will feed you. He will protect you and you shall not lack. Because your God is the maker of heaven and the earth. Because your Father created the planet. Because your Father has positioned you in the spiritual place bless you with all spiritual blessings if you believe give him some praise right now hallelujah 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 hallelujah